After the greatest extinction Earth had ever known, life did what it always does. It returned, slowly, carefully, not stronger, just present. But recovery is not a guarantee of safety. Beneath the surface, the planet was still restless. Continents strained, heat built, systems drifted toward imbalance once more. This is the extinction we rarely name, overshadowed by what came after. Yet without it, the world we know would never have formed. This is the moment when the board was cleared and a new kind of life stepped forward. So, what came after the Great Dying? Was it peace and quiet for life on Earth? Not quite. Life did recover, but only for a time. Around 201 million years ago, Earth faced another reckoning, the Triassic-Jurassic extinction. It cleared the biological stage once again. About 80% of all species disappeared. That's huge. But it gets overshadowed by the next one, the one that wiped out the dinosaurs. Understandably. But this event was crucial. It reshaped the evolutionary landscape. It eliminated many of the dominant species of the time and opened the door for one of Earth's most iconic dynasties, the dinosaurs. So what was Earth like before the extinction? The supercontinent Pangaea still held together, one massive landmass stretching across much of the planet. The climate was hot and seasonal, with large inland deserts and intense monsoons. Reptiles and amphibians dominated. While the giants roamed the Earth beneath their shadows, a new chapter quietly stirred. Morganucodon, no larger than a mouse, was writing the first lines of the mammalian story that would one day lead to us. And then something massive disrupted the balance. The likely culprit? A chain of volcanic eruptions tied to the opening of the Central Atlantic Magmatic Province. As Pangaea began to rift apart, Enormous fissures opened in the crust, spewing lava and greenhouse gases. So another spike in CO2? A massive one. CO2 levels soared, global temperatures rose rapidly, and this time it wasn't just heat. The chemistry of the oceans shifted. Acidification once again eroded the base of marine ecosystems. You'd think Earth would have learned by now. But Earth doesn't learn. It reacts. Feedback loops, like methane release, CO2 surges, and ocean stagnation, are part of the planet's deep systems. When they go out of balance, they tip everything else with them. So, what did this mean for life? A biological bottleneck. Giant amphibians like Metoposaurus, armored reptiles like Edosaurs, and marine creatures like Ammonites vanished. But a few small, scrappy dinosaurs like Caliphysis and Platyosaurus, managed to cling on. When the dust cleared, they found an empty world ready for the taking. What allowed them to survive when others didn't? Adaptability, for one. Their physiology allowed them to thrive in extreme conditions. They could lay eggs on land, manage energy more efficiently, and quickly colonize open ecological niches. So the extinction event didn't just end an era, it launched a new one. Precisely. We call this evolutionary release. Remove the dominant competitors and surviving groups can expand, diversify, evolve into forms that were previously impossible. It's a kind of forced creativity. Nature starting from scratch. Yes. Extinctions don't just erase, they also rearrange. They prune the evolutionary tree, but in doing so, they allow new branches to grow. It makes me think about today. If our actions are changing the climate, driving extinctions, what comes next? That's the haunting question. And sometimes all it takes is a single extinction window to flip the board. Exactly. The extinction at the end of the Triassic was the prologue to the age of dinosaurs. The next chapter, well, it belongs to an asteroid and a night that fell over the Earth. The Triassic-Jurassic extinction did not announce itself with spectacle. 
No single day, no single impact. Just a planet drifting past a threshold it could not retreat from. What followed was not progress, but opportunity. Life reshaped itself around absence. Survivors expanded into the quiet left behind. This is the pattern that repeats. Not punishment, not intention, just consequence. The future, it turns out, does not belong to the powerful, but to the adaptable. And in that cleared world, dinosaurs rose. The next extinction would end their reign in a single night. But what followed would shape us.